Jose, there's only one place to start. The, the penalty incident that saw you red carded. What are your thoughts on the incident? I don't want to, don't want to speak about it. You've just been in, I think, to see the referees. What do they say? He told me something incredible. He told that at the same time, he could see the action in the box and my behavior on the touchline. I congratulate him because he's absolutely incredible. His peripheral vision during the game, 100 miles per hour, he had one eye on the penalty situation and he had one eye on the bench and on my behavior. So that's the explanation he gave me. That's why he's one of the best referees in the world. Have you had the chance to watch the incident back? Do you still think it was a penalty? I watched the incident. I don't speak about the incident. The game as a whole, the game as a whole, the game as a whole got, got a point against Manchester United. No, we have they got a point against us. They got a point against us, not us against them. We played amazing. Uh, I was telling the players, if you play like this in the, in the Turkish league, we destroy every team. Uh, because, of course, we played against uh, a team that is a superior level uh, than us. Um, of course, the Premier League has more quality, more intensity, more, more pace, more everything. I think my boys did uh, an, amazing, uh, an amazing match. Uh, probably in England, people will speak about two or three players of Man United that didn't play. You, you, you don't know how many of us uh, didn't play. Because as a start, we have four players out of the Europa League list, and then we also had injuries, and then we had to finish the game with a, a centre back playing right back, a right back playing left back. We had to do a crazy puzzle, but our performance f was extraordinary. I couldn't ask anything more from from the the players. Uh, Onana made two incredible incredible saves in our. Uh, fantastic initial period because we started the game so well. Uh, they scored in a situation where we knew that they could uh, because the pace of, of the wingers and the arrival of the midfield players was something that we knew that they could hurt us. But I think we had a, a phenomenal performance. To say it all, we saw you talk to Andre Onana just a moment ago and call him out of the match. Come on, uh, he saved the result. My goalkeeper didn't make a save, he made two impossible saves in 10 seconds. I think he's the, the most decisive player in the, uh, in the result. Of course, he didn't make 20 saves, but he made two saves that incredible. Uh, Onana can do it. I do want to ask you about the way Manchester United set up. We were surprised as we were to see Nuzer Mazraoui playing as a number 10 in midfield. He can, and the coach knows him well. The coach uh, coached him in... Uh, in Ajax, in Ajax, he played in uh, in that position. I think uh, I understood what he was trying. Uh, Zirkse is a striker that I know uh, very well from my Italian time. He's a striker that drops back all the time, attracting uh, defenders or no. Uh, then the wingers to attack the space, and Masarawi is also a runner. He's also a guy that can attack uh, as, that can attack spaces. So. Uh, I know, I know also the, the English media, I know that you are going to say Man United didn't play well, but um, I think it would be fair to say that we did an extraordinary match and we were better than them. So good result for Man United. And when you are going up, we're winning the game with 1-0, uh, you should take more control. And we should have scored also a second call, uh, Rashford, we had big chance before half-time and we had also some, uh, some other opportunities uh, where we I fell short because we gave the ball too easy away or the final pass was not there. And then concede the goal like we did after half-time, uh, that's, that's poor. First ball from a free kick should never be played in our block. And then one cross and it's a goal. Um, after what we showed some resilience and determination to go for a second, we had again big chance um, with Rashford. But the final pass uh, was not given right. And we had some things more, like uh, Carnaccio, especially Nus, had um, a good one, a good shot. And we had some opportunities more. Uh, but all over, yeah, we have to take the point. And from two tough away games, we have two points. And yeah, now we have to win. And now we have, uh, I think, two home games. And yeah, we have to win games to go uh, further in Europe, of course. And that is our purpose.
Why do you think straight after half time that happened for, for the goal, particularly given on Saturday you were so good after half time against Brentford? It shouldn't happen uh, that it's uh, too easy to get a first ball so easily played in our block uh, from free kick. Uh, so that's definitely a point uh, we have to work on. This is I think, six of the last eight European games you've taken the lead but failed to win those games. Why do you think that is? Is, is there, I know it's different games, it's conceding in different ways, but is, is there an underlying issue with these European games in particular? First of all, we're doing very well that you are going in a winning position. And it seems like our tactics are right, but then of course the team should learn game management. And yeah, we have young players, but a mistake like today, it shouldn't happen on our level. We spoke before the game about the midfield and Nusser Mazraoui playing as the 10. How did you think that experiment worked? <laughs> experiment? Uh, we would never come up with this if we didn't have the issues. But I, I think um, it's a long time ago he played there, but he is capable to do it. And we have seen today, you see it in a uh, lead up to the goal. Eh? He plays there a role, uh, but also to strengthen the midfield, uh, be supportive there, support the pressing. Um, yeah, he was uh, doing quite well in that position, um, so pleased with his performance. When we spoke yesterday, he talked about trying to keep the momentum and the confidence going that you gained at the weekend with that performance and result against Brentford. Do you feel like a point here, the manner of it, the performance tonight, do you think that keeps that confidence with, with the squad? Oh, I think when you take, uh, say, the two points, Porto and Fernabaccio away, it showed that uh, we are a team who's hard to beat. And we showed it to get again today, so we can take confidence again from this game and take this up into the lead to West Ham. Do Manchester United need to be more than just difficult to beat, though, in Europe? We have to win. And as I said, we came again in a position to win. It's, we created the chances, but we have to be killing more. And we let the opponent get away with a point. It's a big disappointment for, for me, for the fans, for, for the club, as a Manchester player, now you have an um, obligation to try to win, and uh, it's what we did today. But also we have to recognize it's a tough place to 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 win, and uh, yeah, we didn't win. At least we didn't lose. So not happy, of course not. But uh, we move on. We are big guys. We take responsibility, me the first one, and we go again. In the context of, of what you just said, being a difficult place to go, your manager asked you to play smart today. Do you feel like you did that, particularly after conceding the equaliser? You seem to be able to calm things down as a team. The manager asked us to play smart. He, he said to us before the game that because of the atmosphere, he had to play smart and manage the game really well. Do you feel like you did that, particularly in the second half? I think yes, we had more control than them second half, and uh, yeah, we had more chances than them. And football sometimes is uh, randomness, you know. We can see the uh, early early goal in the second half, and we had to show character, and what is what we did. And um, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't win, but I think we were better than them. There was a big moment just before half time. The two saves from Yusuf and Nasiri. Can can you talk me through those saves from your perspective? How you managed to get to both of them? We were amazed. Well, for me, those saves are not important. You know, the most important thing is the victory of the team. You know? And uh, it's always nice to make this kind of saves and the team win. So today, we are all going back angry because we came here to win, even if we play against a very tough opponent. But we are Manchester United, so it's a big disappointment. When the team was announced, we were a little bit surprised to see Nusser Mazraoui playing in midfield. How often have you practiced that this week and, and how did you feel it worked tonight? I think uh, every player who are wearing this shirt are able to play any position. And Masrawi is one of them. He did a good job for us. And um, yeah, we're happy, we're happy with him. We're happy with his performance. And he used to play there when he was younger. So uh, I think sometimes we have to be pragmatic no? with the red cards, with injuries. So player needs, needs some time to step up. And it's what Masrawi did. And it was brilliant for the team because the, need, the team needed need him there. So. Yeah, I'm happy with him. Um, I think uh, the most important is uh, three games that we didn't uh, lost yet. So I think that's a very good result. Um, of course, today was a hard game, difficult game. 
against, uh, okay, maybe they uh, didn't start so well the season, but against one of the strongest teams of the world. Uh, we played very good. Uh, I think we, was, we were in some phase, phase even better than them. Uh, we had a lot of chances. So I think a big compliment for the team, uh, for the coaching staff. We have to continue like this and uh, yeah, inshallah we will uh, win uh, the, next, uh, the next games. Yeah, I think uh, Andre Onana is a fantastic goalkeeper. He saved them uh, today many times. Uh, but I think uh, for us it's important to improve uh, in this. We have to score, we have to kill the games. You have to kill the uh, confidence of the opponent. So this is yeah, we were very important moments in the game. Um, but like I said, uh, if you look to the chances that we had and they had, at the end is maybe a draw, a good result, a, v a fair result.